today with T. Pendel. What up? What's going on? I haven't seen you in a long time. I'm in no, Miami. No, no. We're in Miami, uh, <laughs> trick. Remember yeah. that was like a cool song? So we're just gonna talk about a bunch of things that you guys have had questions about, about each of us. Maybe like where we began, how we got started, and what were we doing before YouTube. Yeah, I get that. I get asked that like, is that mine again? Huh. No, it's that phone. No, nah, that one's like... You got like, two phones? phones man. <laughs> I think that was you. That's uh, not me. No, nah, that one right there, look. Oh, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> so he has a very interesting story, guys. It's, it's kind of interesting. I think it's interesting, and yeah. I, mean, I know you guys will. So mm -hmm. what were you doing? Before YouTube. Yeah. Well, like, I was playing, I, did, I played college football, and then I wanted to pursue, like, professional football. Like, every, like, kid that plays a sport, you have that dream. So I went and I didn't make the NFL, cried about it, literally. Uh, um, and then went and played the CFL and I got cut up there and I got back, I'm like, I'm bored. And I decided to upload content like, to YouTube. But before that, I was like substitute teaching and I was working for the school board with kids, like middle school, middle school kids. So how did you get into teaching? Well, literally what happened, I went to substitute teach. The first day I ever substitute teach, I, I went in there, it was a high school, it was reading, it was ninth and 10th graders. In Florida, we have like a, a standardized test. The kid that had trouble passing and, and uh, with reading, reading troubles. So I did that and the assistant principal walked in at the end of the day and he was like, we had a teacher that we had to let go. Would you like to take over for so you could become an intern sub? So you would basically take over a classroom. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, this is my first day substitute teacher. Like, I, I don't think I'm ready for that. And he was like, well, just think about it. It pays $28 an hour. And I like, I think I might be able to do that because <laughs> substitute teacher at the time was paying like 13 or 14 bucks an hour. So I was like, I, I, okay, I can, I can yeah, do this. Yeah. So that's how I started. I was a reading teacher for like six months with ninth and 10th graders. And I was young as hell, like 22, 23 years old. <laughs> like, all right. Cool. But that's how I started. That's interesting. Especially because... I know what you're about to say, but I'm, I'll let you You know. might not know. For Did real? I tell you? I might have told you over the phone. So I went to school to be a teacher as well. Right. A health and phys ed teacher. And oddly enough, for some reason, I remember seeing a lot of comments that you guys thought I was a nurse or going to school to be a nurse. I never did that, and I don't know why you guys thought that. I just let you guys think why that. Why would you think you would just, oh, you just roll with I mean, it? I think it was because partially whenever Jesse was sick or something was happening, mm -hmm. I took really good care of him. Oh. And I know it's really silly, but like, uh. I, would, I don't know, maybe that's why. I think maybe that's why. Yeah. But <laughs> so I, so yeah, I definitely knew, because um, even like years ago when we used to talk and, and chop, chop it up like at Playlist or VidCon, you used to ask me how was it, and I'm like, oh, all right, and you told me you had like your degree, and you're like, well, YouTube's going great right now, but I still always have that to kind of fall back on, mm -hmm. which is cool. I have a degree in kinesiology and- I don't know what that is, guys. I know, so put, kinesiology- You might want to break that down, because I'm not even gonna fake like I know Kinesiology is the study of human movement, and I took all those really difficult classes, anatomy and, and physiology, yeah. all that stuff, and I actually graduated with a 3.95 with Woo! honors. Graduating summa cum laude, the highest I honor. My Have grade point yeah. averages of 3.85 to 4.0. <laughs> Please stand to be right. Oh! Yeah. I'm the only one. Oh, on yeah. I made it. And I don't know how I did that. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because I never was a good student growing up. Really? No. I, I didn't care about school. I cared about my friends. I cared about my outfits. Like, what was I wearing? How yeah. did I look? And just chilling with my friends. Prima donna. And then, I think like I had the mindset of college was official and I had to be like serious, oh, okay. serious at that point. I always felt like college was easier than high school to me. I felt like high school, they give you like a lot of busy work. Yeah. They tell you when to eat and move around and your time is like really like boom, 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 boom. Like you're in the military almost. And then uh, I feel like college, I had so much time. I could, study and play ball and it wasn't that bad. Like, Did you have a scholarship? I actually walked on and I earned a scholarship after awesome. a year and a half. Yeah. I only played like three games my senior year of high school. I dislocated and fractured my shoulder. Yeah, I tore up all kinds of stuff. I've broken or dislocated <laughs> six out of the ten of my fingers. Jeez. Hey, grab my wrist. I'm scared. What's gonna Just happen? Just grab it. Y'all can listen at home. No, not like pull it off. Oh. You ready? Yeah, they probably got hit at the camera. So I went to block a punt, got kicked in the wrist, and it dislocated. Do you feel any pain? Um, no, not now. Okay. No, it's fine. Probably not, because you're always lifting. Yeah, when I get old, <laughs> everything's going to just fall apart. I did that one year, and I, I taught reading, and then after that, I went back to substitute teaching. I, I found like a school that liked me, and I did it every day. And I became like substitute teacher, slash security, slash internal suspension, slash like... All in the same school. All in the same and school. And security. That's yeah, they were just throwing me around. Like, I was like doing bus duty in the morning, really? and like, it was, wow. it was, it was cool. I didn't know they do that. It's, it's cool because you got to play a different role yeah, in definitely. all positions. 
And it's not like a lot of males in the school system. It's mostly women, all of, like the young guys. They thought I was cool. And I always knew they were like in the uh, fashion. It's cool to have the cool shoes and all that stuff. So every Friday, I went and bought some Velcro shoes from like a Kmart. Yeah. And they were like seven bucks. And I would just wear them on Friday. On purpose? On purpose. <laughs> But check this out, so like the kids would make fun of me and I, I called it strapped up Fridays because they like had the strap ups. <laughs> and they knew I would wear them on Fridays and then like a couple of the other cool kids started doing it. It was like 14 and 15 of us, like every Friday we wore strap ups. And we took, <laughs> I took like a picture. So it was like, a, it, I like turned it into like a cool thing. So I guess a lot of the kids looked up to you. Yeah, definitely. They looked up to me and I was tall, so like they really had no other choice anyway. So they definitely looked up as far as that, that aspect too. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they did. They did. They, they, um, they definitely looked up to me. It, it was fun. It was cool. They were like, like little brothers almost. Do you think they watch your videos now? They definitely watch watch my videos because I was I was actually attempting like while I was substitute teaching, I started like to kind of move in a direction of creating content. I think I remember this. So they were kind of. But you were careful about how. I was doing overly it. careful. I didn't curse and. Like I had to watch, like edgy, edgy comedy, I had to watch what I was doing because literally, like some parents would think it was funny and then someone would be like, oh, I don't think this is appropriate for this guy to kind of work around kids. Like if he's doing like something crazy or something like that. But the kids were like kind of, y'all, y'all like, like teenagers are funny in, in itself because what, what they do, they would like, like, oh, Mr. Pendel, look, this is your video. They could pick a hundred videos, but they would pick a video when I'm dressed up like a girl. <laughs> and, then, and the coworkers would be looking like, yo, what are you doing? Like, and I'm like, Oh, okay, cool. cool. Oh, that yeah. sucks. And there's like no context behind it. Nothing at like all. Wearing a dress. Yeah. Oh my god. That's it. I'm, I'm dressed like I'm like, come, come on right now. You, so good, but they're, they're funny. They know what they're doing. I remember some of the students would recognize me too, and I was like always scared because I didn't want them to tell other people in the school about it. I was just like, no, I'm no, surprised that's, that's you were not even me. able to walk in a building and <laughs> recognize you already. Well, at that point, it was it was like elementary because I did oh, I okay. did all the grades like elementary, mm -hmm. middle, and high school. Which one you like best? It's hard hard because I felt like the little kids were they were really cute and they loved me and the energy they had was mm. always they always had energy to be excited about whatever I was doing or teaching them and then I, I enjoyed the older kids too because oh, it's like we could have a we were on the <laughs> same level in some sense I felt like even though they were technically supposed to respect me more because I was in a teacher role mm. we kind of had a relation of like I'm cool plus I can teach you something you know and you right. too I bet you had that same thing like yeah, definitely. Right? I think sometimes that might, might have got me in trouble a little bit. Like, yeah. cause I'm like a big horse player. Like, you know what I mean? So we like, we just have a straight WrestleMania. It's all fun against game somebody gets hurt and then you gotta explain that to, to a parent. But that's cool. So, so you ended up, so the elementary kids didn't really, uh, I guess they weren't on the internet as much. Like, well, some of those, that's the thing. Some of them did recognize, actually, I guess at all ages, they did recognize me. And it was awkward. It was really awkward. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, no. Like, I hope they don't watch my next no. video. Sometimes I would be filming stuff I'm like, like, I can't say this or do this. Right. And you're very conscious of it. And it kind of like, it's in the back of your mind. You never know who's, who's watching you. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. How did you get started on YouTube anyway? Um, I, I like, had a channel and then like I lost it. I got like three strikes, you're out. I had like three strikes. So now, like, if you use music, they'll just take your ads off, and then whatever record company will get the revenue from that video. But back when, like, YouTube, like, was like earlier days, that would count as a strike. Yeah. They'd be like, that's one strike. You use a, that song, like, that's a strike. And you get three strikes, you lose your old channel. So I lost the channel. I started another one, but I was like not as excited about it because I had like 25,000 subscribers, mm -hmm. and I lost all of them, which was uh, a lot of subscribers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, when you started out, that was a lot. That was a lot. It was like. Like three or four people that like had a, a million, maybe the big number was 100k. Back when we started YouTube, there was very few channels that had a million. Right. I think that's why they started with the gold play button because that was very hard to. It attain. was very hard, and then now everyone's getting it, so they like made it smaller. Yeah. You see how big it is? Like it was like a big, strong, sturdy case. I have the big one. Yeah, and now, like, now it's like a like a little thin, a thin one. They like too many people are getting a million subscribers. Um, so I, that happened like that. Um, I was at a I threw a house party, guy came over, it was like a bunch of people, a guy came up to me, he's like, yo, you do videos, you're funny, I have a friend that does videos. I'm like, nah, I'm like, okay, people said it all the time, I'm like, oh, I have a friend, and you look at the videos, and you're like, <laughs> and then, uh, so, the friend that he had that made videos was Dashie. Bye, y'all! You guys remember Dashie? Yeah. 
Yeah, they, they definitely. Yeah, we, we've done lots of videos with that. Um, and then I'm like, alright, so we linked up, and then um, we shot videos, and it was cool to have like a like-minded individual mm -hmm. creating content. He knew how to edit, I knew how to edit, and we did our own thing. We used to, back then, we used to shoot like say 20, 30 videos oh in a year. That's how many oh, collaborations yeah, yeah. we yeah. would do over a period of time. And then so that's how I grew, and then I started working with other people and was going to playlists, and then we would just try just to like collab, just like, more, like yeah, like Didn't like we do a collab way back. We did, we did, we did. Um, I, I have the worst memory. <laughs> It's in there somewhere. But I know it's we did there. something so long ago. Yeah, we did. We we had we had to. And oh, I remember I helped y'all shoot that one um thing. Uh, that was on like a horse. A like, real horse? No, nah, like a merry round, like a horse thing. Remember? And it's like oh. was screaming or something. Wait, and y'all was on like a. I think so. You were there. I was there. Studios? Yeah, I was there. I was there. Or what, not, whatever. Whatever it was. I I didn't. You helped film that? Mm -hmm. Dude, I have a bad memory. I know that was so embarrassing. <laughs> This is the video that he helped shoot. Okay. Woo! Whoa! 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 Pretend you're swinging a rope in the air like a cowboy. No! Yo, this is hype! Oh Scream as God. loud as you can. I'm the queen of the world! I'm the queen of the world! <laughs> <laughs> After that, I'm just like, I was just excited about it and I started rolling and then I was still like maintaining a job. That's all, people, like YouTube was really like hard. I had to work the eight hour day. Mm -hmm. Then I still had to come home and have energy. And then when I first started, I didn't even have a camera. I was just filming on my iPhone 3 gs So I was like, I have to film before it gets dark. Oh, because yeah. once it gets dark, the camera quality. Yeah, it's <laughs> over. But I invested in myself after that. And, and then, what am I? Two million subscribers later. You have a lot of stuff. I have a lot going on. Some regular skits and sketch comedy and parodies on the main channel. Uh, fitness channel, Teeth and Up Fitness. Uh, where I try to do fitness and people are like, we need more fitness videos. Yeah, I it, feel like you're the type of guy that needs to be doing this. Right, right. I, I enjoy doing it, but I still try to tell people like you don't. It's not like a skit. You don't need a new fitness video every week. Like if it's 50 fitness videos on the channel, you can yeah, go and pick a video and, and do a workout. Yeah. And um, so fitness and then gaming. I, I revamped my vlog channel, so I do vlogs there, but I transitioned it into street interviews and also like male grooming and hygiene. I think that's important. It's not like a big. Uh, focus on males and hygiene and, and it's okay guys to <laughs> exfoliate and wash and clean yourself oh, you and exfoliate? yeah I'm a little rest of that but it's, it's like it's, it's important and uh, sometimes for guys it's like look not like frowned upon it looks soft or like oh but take care of yourself and your body you only have one one uh <laughs> Body. What's it like for you to film skits? Because you play multiple roles. Right. Is that hard? It, 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 it was hard at first, and then I used to write scripts to help out, playing like three people, and I'm actually talking to myself the whole time. And then I got so good at it that I didn't even need scripts, and I was just memorizing. I'll sit there and think like this, and, and like somebody might be helping me, looking like, "Oh, you good?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm just thinking about all these lines uh, in my head." But that all started because like, I just used to collaborate with a lot of people, and like one of the main people I collaborated with was Dashie. Then he moved yeah. to LA, and I'm like, "All right, so I gotta, you gotta say, figure it out." I gotta figure it out. <laughs> so I'm like, I just became like multiple characters, and it reminded me of movies like The Nutty Professor. Mm -hmm. When Eddie Murphy was like six people or seven people at once sitting at a dinner table. Yeah, but it's really more on the editing side of just chopping it up and making it kind of like go all together and put some music behind. That's a lot of work guys too. If you don't know, you may not be in the film world, but I can tell when I watch your videos that you put a lot of hard work and energy Aww. into it. No, because <laughs> even to be able to match up the audio of this person talking versus the other character, right. and you even when you're sitting there and doing it, your eye yeah, line uh, is so on point. Right. It's like you're, framing everything. You're really good at it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> and if you haven't seen his videos, you definitely need to check them out. Please, please go check them out. <laughs> if you are a creator and you do skits or short films or anything like that, you start to like look at movies or TV shows different. I know. Or even inserts and close-ups. Like, oh, I like what they did there. Yeah. Like such a dramatic scene, close-up on the face, you see all the motion and everything, and just the lighting and the cinematography. All plays a role. Speaking and, uh, of that, do you feel like it's ruined your experience watching movies? Um, a little. A little bit, it does. 
It does. I look at a movie and I see a shot, and I'm like, I already know how a scene's gonna start. You go and you see a yeah, movie yeah. start, they're gonna show the whole room, so you see what's around. <laughs> then they're gonna come into like a mid shot, and then you get to close up. I look at the scene, and I'm like, wow, they had to shoot that seven different times. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I know exactly what you're doing. And like, when you watch it, it looks like it fits perfectly. Right. Even if it's like a person who walks out of a door, but then the next scene is them walking into a parking lot, but then another thing that's an up high drone so you can see the see parking the whole lot. Thing it's it's just a lot of little pieces. A lot of little pieces. Work. And you'll see a small scene that's maybe like a page or two, but that took a whole day to shoot. I know. And then even I know y'all did a lot of things when y'all like you've worked on set mm -hmm. and, and done all that. So you definitely experienced and know how much goes into oh, yeah. shooting and, and filming. And it's it's one thing to do something at home like on your own camera, but to do like something bigger and it's 10, 15, 20 people behind the camera and they're like, all right, action go. I'm like, why are these people here? Um, <laughs> it's like, it's a little, little bit more nerve wracking. Yeah. So moving forward, what's gonna happen with your channel or what do you plan on doing? On the main channel, definitely gonna keep cranking off skits, but I'm really looking forward to a series. I'm actually taking the older movies like Sandlot and movies like that and I'm doing uh, what if they were shot in present day like oh, with technology and different things like that so I filmed Sandlot already and I filmed uh, the movie Friday is it a whole movie no it's like a short film oh. like, like like five six minutes that's so interesting. like I take key scenes and I switch it up with like technology and stuff so that's coming up so it's gonna be a busy one that's for me good. that's what I want to do what about yourself well, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so for me I guess this series is becoming a new thing okay hopefully I think if you guys like it make sure you smash the thumbs up button I just think it's interesting for people to sit down and talk to other youtubers or other people and you guys get an inside perspective of what it's like or any type of conversation that you can get more insight that you may not have known and right. wanted to know genuine insight exactly right. like this that's is just important. super real super raw and I don't know I yeah. think there's not that's not really happening no it, it, it doesn't and, and, and a lot of times like what we do we get kind of edited put in what we want to put in and then but you know what I mean sometimes you just need to see like the hard work exactly. that goes into it because everyone I don't want to be a youtuber that's like a, a like a career, like a top five thing kids say, what do you want to do? I want to be a YouTuber. I'm like, all right. No, and it's a, lot of, it's a lot of hard work and consistency that you have to push. It's almost like a, you just coast along and then it'll gradually move up, mm -hmm. hopefully. <laughs> um, well, I'm excited. Yes, so this so is dope. I'm, glad, I'm happy to be a part of this, but I'm also excited to see some of the other people you plan on interviewing and talking to. Yeah, I don't have a complete lineup yet. If you guys have suggestions, write it in the comments. I'm excited for it. And if you need any characters in your movies, hit me all right, up. All right, I, so love, I love Miami, I love Florida. I'll come, oh, definitely. I'll come back. All right, let me know. <laughs> I, I will. Don't. I all right, guys, so make sure you check out the video that we filmed on T. Pendel's channel. And it's, it's, gonna, not it's gonna be dope. It's so just, just be ready. We got a. Hey, when was the last time you did this kid? Who, me? Yeah. I'm actually, I, I haven't. We didn't film yet, so I. <laughs> It's going to be dope. So, um, look, expectations, reality of adulting. Come through, slide through, show some love, subscribe, and um, it's, it's, it's going to be a ball. We're going to have some fun. Yes, and definitely subscribe because he has a lot of great content and he's pushing out. Appreciate it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, bah! and we'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, this wasn't recorded. Liar. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification so you'll know every time I upload a video.